Slow motion. As soon as I let that arrow go, it was. Well, I can't wait any longer. We've waited five minutes and we're going to go find him. Hopefully, he's just around the corner. I'm very excited about this. This is one of the longest shots I've taken on a game animal. I have shot it 50 yards before on, on red deer and things, but. I uh, haven't got something like that on film, so we've had a look on the viewfinder, the arrow looked like it landed pretty good, maybe a little bit high, but let's go and see it, eh? Let's go and find out. Here he is, 20 yards away. <laughs> yes! Here's the arrow right here. Alma Ridge did the deed. I'm having a lot of fun and a lot of success with this broadhead. It fires very true and uh, as you can see it's absolutely done the damage on this guy. He's only made 25 yards. And look at the size of the... What an absolute monster. This is a this is a real real good goat. This is as good as they get. It's probably between 35 and 40 inches from tip to tip, which is certainly what makes a trophy. I am absolutely stoked about this. The arrow's gone right right in there and obviously taken out both lungs. You know that mechanical broadhead has um, simply sliced them open. And he's, he's died very, very quickly. What an absolute ripper. Smell, 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 smell,
close. About five yards, and he's not going to go far. I've got him right in the right in the uh, breast, or right her right in the breast. And as it turned, I saw a big gush of blood. I might have clipped the jugular on the way through. It's um, it's not going to live long. That little goat. It's a perfect eating size too. I'd actually much rather eat one of those than the likes of that black billy that we just spooked. So it's perfect outcome all round. Well, my arrow's gone through here. It's travelled about two and a half metres to get to this point. And it's, um, it's sliced through this branch here. And it didn't even divert the arrow. At that range, it didn't even, it didn't even change course. It still ended up right where I aimed, right in the breast. And um, yeah, perfect outcome. I certainly wouldn't recommend trying to shoot through shrubbery. I'm on Hollywood right now. On the red carpet. Look at it. Look at this line of blood. The blind man would find this one. View of discretion required. Yeah, it's just taken out what looks like the jugular vein and it's gone straight into the engine room. A little sucker made about 25 yards but dead on its feet pretty much. And this size goat, very good for um, marinated goat kebabs, one of my favourites on the barbecue for summer.
when I come out here to get some cutaways done for the last hunt and film a time lapse and I see these goats. About 35 yards and while I thought well I'll just let them walk but then another part of me says nah BJ you're a serial goat hunter you can't help yourself. <laughs> so I got lucky and it's turned out to be a pretty good trip. All my sunglasses are fogging up. Oh man, what a good day. Hello, I bet you can't guess what I'm doing. Yes, I'm hunting goats with the bow. Just me, my friend, Matthew. Z. I dropped in toward where the goats were seen last. The goats were still there, oblivious to me stalking them. I now had to crawl, but along the way, I managed to bump a young, random billy. That billy took off, fortunately running away from the hunted goats. At last, I reached a spot to shoot from. I wanted to arrow one of these bad boys, but I also wanted to get it all on film the best I could. These goats were rutting and unsettled. This wasn't going to be easy. A white billy soon wore my pin. He kept moving out of the frame, the joys of self-film hunting. This time, a bigger black billy caught my attention. This guy was in love with a hot nanny, and he was in serious trouble. Suddenly, three young billies appeared. They had been pushed by an older goat. This was too close for open country. I had to make this shot. And they're still chasing that nanny. That's incredible. I've never been this close to running billy goats before. It's incredible. It's oh, this was just it's amazing. You know, the last day of the year, 
you're least expecting to find rutting action in the summertime, in the peak of summer. And uh, I mean, have a look at this. That poor nanny goat is now about 80 yards away. Look at that. She's the most popular girl in school. <laughs> oh, you little black beauty. Those boys are after you. Oh my God. I can hardly keep up with this tripod. They're not running because of me, they're running because of her. After a fairly difficult stalk, it could have gone a lot worse. I had to be fairly patient, I guess, but I didn't really want to take a long shot. It was a 50 yard shot and a 45 yard shot, but it was quite breezy, and I didn't really want to get it wrong. I wanted to finish the year on a high note, and this little guy just made the dumbest mistake. I ended up getting lucky, and I think what was about 20 paces. What a great way to finish the year. Just love bow hunting.